Hey, my money making friends. I have a great one for you all today. I'm gonna to review Chat GPT versus Bard. These are two of the top AI chatbots that can even act as your very own personal assistant. And better yet, they can act as a grant writer. And you can get all of these benefits with AI for free. And so if you want a free grant writer that's going to answer all of your grant needs, you need to watch this video to the end. It's time to get started. And so right now I have Bard and OpenAI open on my computer. And so the goal when talking to these chatbots is to enter in a prompt or text to give you the best answers back. And so there is a format that you're probably gonna catch on to when it comes to how I ask questions. And so the first question I have for Bard and ChatGPT is act as an expert grant writer what are 10 small business grants available right now in June so I'm gonna ask this question to Bard first I will say that Bard it takes a little bit longer to load than chat GPT and so here we have the responses and so Bard says here are 10 small business grants available right now in June of 2023 number one the amber grant for woman-owned businesses Grants range from $10,000 to $25,000. So me personally knowing about grants, Amber Grant is an organization that does give out grants every single month. And they've been doing this for over 20 years. So this first example is legitimate and a good response. And so the thing that I really like about Bard is that included within this response is a link to an article. So let's click on it and see where it takes us. And so it takes us straight to the Amber Grant website. So no longer do you have to spend hours trying to figure out where is the link to the grant, but within Bard, it gives you the link right away. And so for the second grant listed, it says the McBride Sisters She Can Fund for women entrepreneurs. Grants range from $5,000 to $25,000. And so personally for me, I hadn't really heard of the McBride Sisters grant, so I need to check it out to make sure it's legitimate. And so here it goes on to say is that the charitable arm of McBride Sisters Wine Company will focus its 2023 efforts on supporting women in the wine industry and in applications officially open today, May 2nd. And so this article was written May 2nd of 2023. So that is a good sign that an article was written about this grant within the past two months. And so let's scroll down to see if we can find the application link. Once I go to the website, I'm scrolling down and I see some information about a 2023 fund and apply here. So this likely is the grant, but to get access to the application, it looks like you do need to sign up. If you want me to personally sign up and walk you through the grant, I'd be more than happy to do so. Just let me know in the comments. And the next grant we have is the eBay up and running grant for eBay sellers. Grants of $10,000 are awarded to 50 sellers each. So this is an old article, which gives me pause to whether or not this grant is still available. So you can quickly validate by doing a quick Google search. And so looking a little bit closer, it does look like the eBay grant has closed as of Friday, June 9th. But when it comes to the prompt that we entered in, technically speaking, this was a grant available in June. Now we're gonna enter in the same prompt into ChatGPT and see the results. And so the results for ChatGPT are limited. And it lets you know that they only have available data up to September of 2021. They would not be able to give you June of this year's grants. But on the bright side, they do give you examples of other grants that your business could apply for. And it's a list of 10. And so when it comes to the question of finding grants that are available right now, Bard wins. And so now it's time for the next question. Question two is act as an expert grant writer. Am I able to apply for this grant? I'm 18 years old, here are the grant requirements. And so when applying for grants, one of the common questions is, can you even apply? It might be a great opportunity when it comes to the money they're giving, but your business might not meet the qualifications. So you can ask AI to save you time. Let's see what results Bard gives us. Bard says, unfortunately, you are not eligible to apply for this grant because you are not 21 years old. The grant requirements state that applicants must be 21 years of age or older. You can still apply for other grants though, 
as an 18 year old. And so here are a few examples. They give you an example of score grants as well as general information about state and local grants. And then lastly, they follow it up by talking about the Small Business Administration, how you can find valuable information as well as loan opportunities on their site. So now let's copy and paste the same prompt into ChatGPT. And just like Bar, ChatGPT says that I cannot apply because I am 18 years old. And so they both give back accurate responses relating to whether or not I qualify. And so when it comes to this question, Bard and ChatGPT tie. If this video is bringing you any value, make sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. The next question is, act as an expert grant writer. How do I find grant money for my small business? Let's see what Bard has to say. Number one, start your search online. There are a number of websites that list small business grants. Some of the most popular websites include grants.gov, FastWeb, and scholarships.com, which is accurate. That's a good example. Two, contact your local small business development center, SBDC. SBDCs are nonprofit organizations that provide free consulting and training to small businesses, which is correct. Three, network with other small business owners. That makes sense. And then four, follow grant opportunities on social media. And then when you are searching for grants, it is important to be prepared. Before you apply for a grant, be sure to read the grant requirements carefully. In this case, you can enter in the requirements into ChatGPT and it can let you know the key things you need to know when applying. The next is gather all the required documentation meaning your business plan, which ChatGPT can help you write, financial statements, and tax returns. And it gives more tips. It says applying for grants can be time consuming, but it can be worth it if you are awarded a grant. And then it gives you some helpful tips when it comes to filling out a grant proposal or a grant application. And so overall, these results are really good. Now let's enter in the same prompt into ChatGPT. In this example, without even asking, they gave 10 ways that you can find free grant money for your business. The first one, government grant databases. They give the example of grants.gov, just like BARD. Secondly, they mention the Small Business Administration, the SBA, similar to BARD. Third, they mention local economic development agencies, corporate and nonprofit grants, industry-specific grants, crowdfunding, community development financial institutions, online grant search engines, networking and local events. And so when it comes to both of these, I have to give it a tie. They both have really good quality responses. Bard happens to lean more towards tips for writing the grant versus ChatGPT really focuses on the different ways that you can get additional grant funding. And so for the next question we have, act as an expert grant writer. I am a small business owner that owns a small online retailer selling hats. I am applying for a grant application. Please write a short paragraph in 100 to 250 words answering this question. What inspired you to become an entrepreneur? Bar responds, sure, here's a short paragraph in 100 to 250 words answering the question. What inspired you to become an entrepreneur? I have always been passionate about fashion and I always loved hats. I started my small online retailer selling hats because I wanted to share my passion with others. I believe that hats can make a statement and can help people feel confident and stylish. I'm also inspired by the entrepreneurial spirit. I believe that anyone can achieve their dreams if they are willing to work hard and take risks. I'm excited to see what the future holds for my business and I am grateful for the opportunity to apply for this grant. That's high quality to me. I feel like it answers the question of what inspired you to be an entrepreneur. It also gives thanks back to the grant sponsor for offering this opportunity. Now let's ask ChatGPT. From an early age, my passion for fashion and creativity ignited a spark within me that eventually led to the birth of my online hat retailer. Growing up, I was always fascinated by the power of accessories to transform an outfit and boost one's confidence. This fascination combined with my entrepreneurial spirit inspired me to embark on this journey. And so just quickly comparing Bard to ChatGPT, ChatGPT has so much more personality. And when the judges are reading this, they get more energy and passion with the ChatGPT response than with the Bard response. And so the winner for grant application questions goes to ChatGPT. And for the last question, act as an expert grant writer. What are 10 grants that I can use to help for everyday expenses? And so when asking this question, Bard gave me the same results as when I asked it for small business grants. And so unfortunately, this won't help with everyday expenses. Let's see what ChatGPT says. And so going through this, ChatGPT's response responses are much better as it answers a question about everyday grants. And so ChatGPT mentions the Temporary Assistance for Needy Families, TANF, 
low income home energy assistance program, the food assistance programs, and local utility assistance programs, as well as rental assistance programs. ChatGPT's response is much more tailored to the everyday expenses. So ChatGPT wins this one. And so when it comes to BARD versus ChatGPT, ChatGPT does a much better job of keeping your search history. You can see all the different questions that you've asked ChatGPT to the left of your screen. And so it's very easy to access the different responses to the questions that you've asked ChatGPT. But when it comes to BARD, after you exit out of the window, it loses your responses. So you won't be able to easily go back and copy the responses that you got. But when it comes to the comparison of BARD versus ChatGPT, ChatGPT still wins in my book, but BARD does provide some competition, especially that you can get up to date, most recent information with BARD. So feel free to comment any questions that you have and make sure to access the links to these helpful resources in the description. I cannot wait to see you next time. Peace, stay building.